What's going on internet? McGee Aerial Media coming at you with a brand new video. Today we're looking at the new 40 series GPU and the new codec to see if there's any difference in the quality from the H.264, H.265 and the new 40 series GPU. We have the 4070 with the AV1 codec to see if there's any bump in the video quality. Let's jump into it. Alright, so you see me here jumping into DaVinci Resolve. We're going to look at the last video I posted to YouTube about a lens review. And we're going to render it in H.264 first. So let me click on the H.264 and add that to the render. And we're going to get that rendered in H.264. We'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit for you so we don't have to wait for it to render all the way through. We're going to save the file H.264, render it again H.265, and then one more time with the AV1 encoder. So on this one, looks like it's going to take about 2 minutes 40 seconds uh, for it to complete the first render at the H.264. Now we'll get the file updated to H.265. We'll change the codec to H.265. I add to render, but I noticed the encoder is set to auto, so I want to switch that to NVIDIA just to keep everything exactly the same other than changing the codec. So I'm going to close out of this one and then add to render with the NVIDIA encoder. And then we'll go ahead and get this one rendered. We'll go ahead and speed this one up for you as well. And I believe this one is actually about three seconds faster, even though it's a little bit higher of a quality when it comes to the render. This is all done with the 4070. That was the ASUS Overclock Edition. Super efficient, 12 gigs of VRAM, and only uses 200 uh, watts for peak power. Um, so yeah, this one was about two minutes, 37 seconds, a little bit faster. So we'll go to the codec and we'll get the new 40 series AV1. Type is going to be AV1 NVIDIA, it's the only option that we have. And let me go back up and rename the last file as AV1. So that way we'll have it saved on our desktop. We'll know which one is which to check the quality and see if there's going to be a difference between each codec. Everything else is exactly the same. All my settings on all three. Add to render queue. We'll get this one rendered here as well. Go ahead and speed that up for you. So this is only with the new 40 series codec that you're able to, to do this with. And then we'll go ahead and look at to see if we can see any quality. It's gonna be compressed off of YouTube. So we're gonna be looking at compression on top of compression, but I'll do my best to see the quality difference in each of the videos we render. So you can see the three different times there with the three different codecs with AV1 supposed to be the highest quality. So we'll go ahead and look into the three different videos, see how much um, memory each one of those takes up as well too. So here we have the three files that we just rendered in DaVinci Resolve for the H.264. Looks like about 614 megabytes for the lowest quality that we're suspecting. H.265 620 so that's another six megabytes so looks like a little higher quality hopefully and then the AV1 is showing 626 megabytes so showing six more than the H.265 so if you're not working with a lot of system memory and the quality isn't too much of a concern for you the H.264 is going to have the most compression and give you the smaller file sizes even though it's not by much more than like 12 megabytes for this video I did a lens review of was uh, 8 minutes. It was the last video I posted up on my YouTube. So, Okay, so here I have all three videos layered in on DaVinci with H.264 as the top, 265 in the middle, and then the AV1. I want you to look at the definition of the camera lens, those lines right there as I turn the track on and off so this is going to be the difference between 264 and 265 if you look at the 24 and then the definition in the actual lens um, where the blue looks it kind of is a little bit sharper 
I don't know if it's really doing any justice, uh, but then when I turn off both, and then you look at the AV1 codec, and I'll cycle back and forth between 265 and AV1, it's even lesser of a, of a difference. You can see the 24 looks a little sharper there. I'll flip it back off and on between 265 and AV1, so you can kind of look and see the sharpness in the detail. Now this is zoomed in quite a bit to kind of notice this, so this is very nitpicking, but when you look at 264 versus AV1, it's more noticeable of a difference between the detail you get in the 24 and then also on the actual the zoom ring with the little rib cage. You can see more detail where it kind of turns into blue a little bit. And then also the, the 24 looks a little bit sharper. So again, between 264, I mean, yeah, 264 and then two, in AV1. So this is AV1 and 264. You can look at how sharp the 24 is. Let me zoom in. I know this is kind of nitpicking um, a little bit of a difference, but you can see the quality is higher on the AV1. I'm not sure if you're really able to see it that much on your screen with the YouTube compression, but on my screen, between the 264 and AV1, you can definitely see the 24 a lot sharper and then way more detail in the zoom ring. All right, so that was a quick little review of the new codec the RTX 40 series GPU have with the AV1 codec. Let me know if you were able to see a difference with the YouTube compression. I know it's kind of difficult to see. On my screen, I can definitely tell a, a, a difference on my monitor, but let me know if you guys were able to see that big of a difference on the actual video um, from YouTube, because this is gonna be compression on top of compression, so. Pretty happy with editing on the 4070 coming from the 3060 Ti that had 8 gigs of VRAM and this card has the 12 gigs of VRAM so it's able to handle any kind of editing task that I throw at it. Editing super smooth here with DaVinci Resolve so I'm extremely happy with the upgrade to the 4070. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll check you guys out in the next video. See you then.